Good morning, y'all. Hey, it is Thursday, November 2nd. Happy November for one. And it is also 9 15 a.m., meaning that I have class for about 45 minutes and I'm just now leaving the house. Y'all, I don't know what's gotten into me, but this last week I've literally taken a mental break from school <laughs> and i really came on this camera today to let y'all know that i have an exam this morning in about 45 minutes that i barely study for so i had to come on here and hold myself accountable essentially because once if i don't pass when i don't pass i will not cry i'm gonna pass the exam but i don't know if i'm gonna get as high as a grade about as i would like but at this point who cares what i would like because i didn't even study for it right it is an exam in our medical emergencies class. Um, I would love to say that it's common sense, but at the same time, it's not because the first exam, it was pretty intense. I did get an A on it. So, okay, knowing that, and I didn't really do nothing but read the PowerPoints a couple times and I still was able to get an A on it. But, y'all, I just had to take a mental break. Like, <laughs> But I did get a YouTube video up. As y'all can see, last week I uploaded my unboxing video that I filmed like two and a half months ago. Finally got that up, so yeah. That one was for y'all. I really had to like check out. I haven't done nothing school related. I also have an evaluation this afternoon with the Barnhart and the Barnhart Correct. Didn't really do too much practicing on that either, I'm gonna be honest. I practiced it a little bit, but at the same time, I feel like it's pretty once you know how to use one instrument you kind of know how to use them all it's just more so at this point i'm just trying to refine my skill and have better control of my instrument i feel like i'm able to adapt the instrument to the correct working end just fine my walking stroke is pretty good um it's just more so having that control when i'm rotating into the mesios the mesios let me just tell you the mesios do anybody else have trouble with the mesios? A lot of us in our class are struggling with the mesios. It's just not fun. I just needed a break, y'all. I just needed a break. I'm not, I don't know. We are literally almost at the end. This is November. Our last day of clinic is November 30th. The last day of medical emergencies is November 30th. Like, this is the home stretch. Like I said, I still have, I think I got a B in. My grades as of today are in dental hygiene techniques, I have an A minus, 92.83%, because y'all know a 93% is technically an A, which is crazy. And then in medical emergencies, I have a 97% still. That's the exam that I'm about to take this morning. Hopefully I can keep it up to a 95 after this, because woo! And then I have a B plus in oral anatomy. I have a 92%, which is crazy to me. It's 92.02, that's a B plus, but a 92.83 is an A minus. I don't get it but whatever so i just need to maintain these grades for the next four weeks and i'll be fine i have oral anatomy quiz and then i have the oral anatomy exam next week but i'm gonna spend all weekend getting ready for that because i got time i got time because like i said i had to hop on this camera and hold myself accountable for what may happen today i will come back and let y'all know and update y'all on <laughs> how this exam go it's giving laugh now cry later at this point and you know what like I always say, it's out of my hands. I just really needed a break, y'all. I was going strong for the first 10 weeks. I did that, did that, stayed on top of everything. But everybody just need a break every now and again. And I needed a mental break, so I took one. Yesterday, I went in for my remediation. Um, I had to work too, but I just left work. And I was gone for a couple hours, did my remediation and came back to work. So I did my remediation. Um, I ended up feeling the Gracie one too. And I know why I felt like I didn't have my patient positioned the correct way. So I couldn't see nothing. And that was just like a snowball being like one thing went wrong and then everything went wrong. So um, I ended up getting 70% on that instrument. You need a 75% to meet competency. So I did not breach that obviously. Um, and then I have to repeat it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to repeat it today. I would love to just get it over with because my patient that I have now, she is very easy to work on and I'm really used to her mouth at this point. But, um, and I would rather do it on somebody that I know I could pass it on because I don't know who my partner gonna be next time. <laughs> Is that crazy or what? 
not saying i mean yes obviously i know i'm gonna have difficult patients out in the real world but it's like for right now i just need to pass okay let's see i'll worry about that when i get there because they're so particular about positions where you sit and i just know them fucking hygienists don't be following no clock positions they do what they gotta do to see what they need to see and get what they need to get and that's just that but for right now i have to follow the rules so i want to do it on somebody that's easy and move on with my life because the thing about it is i have to repeat it repeat it and pass it by november 30th so it's like at this point i just want to get it out the way now re um i need to repeat it i know i'm gonna pass the second time but it's like what if i don't what if you don't pass so don't be so cocky give yourself time i don't want to wait to the last minute and end up running out of time because if you don't meet all your competencies you don't pass you don't pass techniques one so you can't go into techniques two I did enroll in my classes for next semester. I think I'm gonna be taking radiography, free dental techniques too, and I don't even remember, something else. I just really wanna get through this first semester. And I'm getting through it. It'll be a damn shame to get this far and crash out, but I'm not gonna do that. And like I said before, like I did good the first 10 weeks, so that gives me like a little wiggle room, but at the same time, I wanna keep this, you know, wiggle room. I can't get this far and crash out, but i'm very happy i'm so happy 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 i am such an emotional person and i am so okay with that when i was younger i was so unsure of myself because i was such an emotional person and it's like y'all know how it is growing up in the hood you cannot be emotional or cry baby because people gonna make fun of you you soft you this you that and it's like i'm just in tune with my emotions you know i can feel shit not in the hood you came so it was like i was pretty out of touch a lot of my adolescence because i'm just like i don't really know where i fit in i don't know i'm not the toughest i don't want to be the toughest like i don't want to be a fighter yes i love people but at the same time i see that love don't get you shit so it's like where do i fit in so i'm so happy that i've learned myself and learned that i love me that's what's important is to love myself I'm not trying to be whoever I'm not. I'm just trying to be the best version of me. Every day I'm trying to be better than who I was yesterday. Although me not studying is not a clear indication of that because obviously I don't want to be better than yesterday if I ain't studied for my damn exam that I got this morning, right? That's, I don't know y'all. We just, and y'all know how some content in school be so interesting and you just can't, you can't look away. And then some of this shit just be dragging. It's like, I don't even care. I mean, not saying, I'm not talking about medical emergencies because that's a very important class and that's something that I've noticed that I've been applying what I learned every single day, even in my work life. I'm asking the questions, peeping signs, things like that. But oral anatomy right now, we're learning about histology. No, we learned about embryology right now. And I fucking hate it. I do not give a fuck. I don't care. Like, and I hate it. I just don't care about how teeth form. I don't care about none of that. Cause that does not matter in the real world. Like, okay, if somebody's congenital teeth missing teeth, we're not sitting there like, oh, that must mean that during the bud stage, this didn't happen. Or during this day, who gives a fuck? Who cares? So I, it's just very hard for me to go through this information right now. Very, very hard to get through it. But I'm gonna get through it. We only got a few weeks left. Oh my goodness, this is week 11. That means we finish in week 11. Next week is week 12. Yeah, these next four weeks, I just got to stay focused and just power through. So this weekend, I'm going to catch up on a lot. Um, and we have Tuesday off. It's a reading day. So I'm just going to, I don't have to work or anything. I'm going to do some lifting in the morning. But other than that, I'm just straight all doing schoolwork. That's it. Because we only have so many classes this month because of Thanksgiving. We got that reading day. So that's at least two days that we're going to be off. So it's like, I really have to just... Buckle down and get through this shit. I'm worried about me, give a fuck about you. No new niggas, nigga, we don't feel that. Fuck a fake friend, where your real friends at? Okay, y'all, I just took my exam and I'm feeling 50 50. I'm so ridiculous. I'm always forgetting something. So we were supposed to bring mannequins or, um, yeah like the little wig heads to school because we're doing a project at oil anatomy i completely forgot about it so i'm about to try to run home real quick and get those because i told one of my classmates that i would bring hers too so i feel like silly like damn my fucking 
it's not just for me it's for both of us so i'm about to go home and get them because i'm extra like that and watch it's gonna be like i'm gonna go she didn't send us no reminder either so everybody was like well maybe she won't make us do it but i got a few minutes so i'm just gonna go ahead and run home and get them real quick i'm gonna be late for class but so what i'll, I'll get there it's a two-hour class oh well i think i can run home get it come back i'll just be like 10 minutes late to class it's okay i just hate to let other people down like if i was just forgetting it for myself i would have just said forget it but i told this girl at the beginning of the semester like oh i have some i'll just bring them and she was like okay i knew i should have put it in my car a long time ago but i didn't <sighs> my man got a job now so he can't just bring them to me so it's just like damn i gotta do it my damn self so yeah, there's that. I guess I like, as much as I hate paying for gas, I like wasting gas. So there's no in between with me. Anyway, back to the exam. Y'all, I don't know. I did a lot of guessing on this exam. So we gonna see. Hopefully I got at least a C on the motherfucker. A C on it because hopefully I got a C. Honestly, as long as I can get a 3.0 in my classes, I'm, I'm gonna be fine with that. <laughs> Kim, you gotta stop doing that. School kind of is boring sometimes. Like some of the things we gotta learn, like obviously like it's just, it was a test over medical emergencies when it comes to like diabetes management hyper, or thyroid management, um, CVA, so cardiovax, cardio, no cerebrovascular accidents and um cardiovascular it was over all those different things like heart attacks hyperthyroidism hypothyroidism hyperglycemia hyper hypoglycemia hyperglycemia but it's just knowing the the small details i'm working on um not cussing as much y'all do y'all think i'm doing better so we're gonna see i'm gonna come back on here later and let y'all know how i do pretty much it can go both ways. Either I'm gonna pass this exam, <laughs> fail this exam, pass my eval or fail my eval. Let's see how it goes. Again, this is a laugh now, cry later moment. So we gonna see. Can we just make it through these next four weeks without me crashing out? Cause if I crash out at this point, it's gonna be quite sad. <sighs> Got the goods. All right, let's go back to class. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, I'm back. I just got out of clinic. Okay, update y'all. So, I ended up passing my exam. I got a 92%. Don't know how, but I did. Again, it was more so common sense, but I got a 92%. Um, I don't feel so hot about my evaluation today. I don't know why I was, my thumb was going like this. I usually always hold it really good, so I don't know what the fuck is going on today. That just irritates me. And I did not get to redo my eval today that I really wanted to do. So, whatever. I'll do it next week. And then, y'all know I drove all the way home to get that styrofoam head. When I got back to class, I was a couple minutes late. And guess what? We did not even end up doing what we were supposed to do with them. And I was like, I knew that was going to happen. Didn't I? I guess I just wanted to drive a little bit just to see. <clears throat> I don't know what the hell I wanted to do. So, yeah. That's that. Passed the exam. Um. We have four weeks left, <sighs> literally 28 days into the last class. Thank goodness. So this weekend, I just gotta buckle down, <sighs> get organized, figure out what I need to do, what I don't need to do, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'ma start today. Yeah, I'ma start today, so. Yeah, so that's the update. Uh, week 11 is down, baby. Five more weeks and we out of here. <sighs> I'm hungry. I got this fucking sticky fluoride all over my teeth. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby, I took a half and she took the whole thing. Slow down. Baby, we took a trip, now we have your blood, and it's not a ghost town. Baby, 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 baby,
November 9th. Um, this is my, I'm on my way to my medical emergencies class. That's the only class I'm having this week because Tuesday was voting day. So we had a reading day at school. We didn't have no class. Love that. Um, and then our oral anatomy class, we normally have it on Thursdays right after medical emergencies. But um, our teacher, she canceled it like a couple weeks ago. So we had an exam this week and I had to take it online yesterday. So she moved it to Wednesday and she just had it open from like all fucking day pretty much. I took it and I'm not happy with the score that I got, but it is what it is. I ended up with an 80, oh, excuse me. I ended up getting an 88 on it, but I don't know because it sounded like she needed to correct some things. So I'm gonna say that's not my final grade. But last time I said that, it, it ended up being my final grade. So I don't know. I mean, my grades have dropped this week. I now have, not that it fucking matters. Anyway, I got an 88 on my anatomy exam yesterday. And that brought my overall anatomy grade to a 92%. I'm not even mad at this point it is what it is um but my grade in dental hygiene techniques have dropped i now have a 91 percent in that class and a 95 percent in medical emergency so i'm just coasting for real y'all we're gonna see what happens um as far as all a's honestly that don't even matter to me no more it is what it is like it would be nice so that i could have a better shot at getting like some scholarships but honestly if they gonna give me the money, they gonna give it to me. If they not, they not. And that's just gonna be that. I'm not about to sit here and stress and worry about some shit that's out of my control. So, yeah. So this is week 12. Today we have medical emergencies for one hour. And then we have like a three hour break or two hour break until we gotta go to um, clinic. So I gotta be at clinic by like 1.15. So I need to go to Audi and pick up some things. It's an Audi right around the corner from the school not right around the corner, but it's like a few minutes away on my way home. So I just decided that I'm going to um, go to Audi on my break, come back home. I left all my labs or my, um, yeah, all my clinic stuff at home. Hopefully that's not a bad idea. That wasn't a terrible mistake. But um, yeah, I left all that stuff there because I'm gonna go to Audi, grab a few things. That shouldn't take long. I made a smoothie this morning, but I don't really like it because it's a banana berry smoothie. I had frozen berries, like raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries. I do not like raspberries and blackberries because of the seeds. I hate those seeds. Like I really do not enjoy those. So I'm not enjoying drinking this smoothie, but I'm not gonna waste it because I made it. And yeah. I just don't like all of those seeds. I hate to swallow them. I just want to spit them out every time, but you can't just be spitting randomly every fucking where. So I need to find a way to strain them, like use a strainer and get the seeds out because I hate the seeds. I hate them. They don't even taste good. But yeah, um, I've been having a rough couple weeks, but you know what? My teacher sent an email out earlier, um, just pretty much telling me and a couple others, all the lefties in the group, how um, we've been doing a really good job and how we're so teachable and all these things. Like we have really good teaching attitudes, those kind of things. And although it's a small gesture, it is big in this moment for me because like I said, I've been having a rough couple weeks. So just being acknowledged and somebody um, paying attention, it's just like, well, thank you. You do see me because sometimes it feels like you're working so hard and people don't see and it's just always give me more and more and more like, they give you a skill, you learn that skill, and it's like, okay, well now do this, but now do that. And it's like, for instance, when we just had our last evaluation on the Barnhart, when I was doing my evaluation, um, did everything I needed to do, come around the museo, you know, went through the distal, came back around the museo. And when I came in the museo, I did it the way I was taught to do it. And then she was like, okay, now lift your hand way up and go in. And it's just like, okay, that's fine. But nobody ever said that to me before. So when we got done, we like, both of me and my partner was like, we never heard that before. Nobody ever told us to do that. And I was like, well, maybe it's because they see that we mastered the basics of what they're trying to teach us. So they just keep giving us more and more because you never finish learning for real. 
So maybe it's like, okay, you got that part, now do this, now do that. Even though we're not doing this as a class, you're ready to move on and this is gonna be expected of you eventually. So you might as well get familiar with it now, kind of. So yeah, I had to change the way that I was thinking about that. Like, it's not a bad thing that she showed us something new during an eval. It's actually a good thing. And we need to take those and practice what she's teaching us because obviously it's gonna help us in the future. Class is out. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy y'all because the semester is almost over. And it's not bittersweet. You know how people feel, oh, I'm so sad this is ending. I've never felt like that about a class. I'd be so glad when this should be over. Behind me, baby, we getting through this. I can't wait. It's almost time. That's It's almost that time, baby. That was a lot. But that's how I'm feeling. That's how I feel on the inside. And I gotta let it out. I just gotta let it out. Okay, I'm back home finally. And it is only, I'm talking about finally. I'm back home. It's only 11.52, so I'm about to put this food away real quick. Now I didn't get nothing too crazy because I'm on break from class. I just grabbed a few things that I knew that we needed. We were all out of oats. I needed to get some more oats. And then I want to make some chili. So I got some ground turkey along with some oyster crackers. And then um, I wanted some bread because in the morning I really like making my egg sandwiches in the morning. But I don't like buying a full loaf. So um, Audie has this half loaf of Italian country bread. So this is what I got. It's like $2, so I'd rather spend that because I just waste the rest of the bread. I probably won't waste it if I got a whole loaf. I would eat all of it and I don't want to eat all of it. So this works better for me. Got some creamer, my oat milk creamer. They had pumpkin spice, so that's what I got. Um, and then I got a couple snacks. Gotta have me some milk chocolate. Um, and then some sweet and salty cashew granola bars. More stuff for the chili. Some diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, and tomato paste. Nothing too exciting there. And then I was all out of crushed red pepper, so I got some more crushed red pepper also. All of this stuff cost me like $32. One more thing, and before I show y'all, all I gotta say is, don't judge me. Judge, matter of fact, you can not judge me. I don't care. I got cranberry almond chicken salad as well because I like the way that this tastes. Take my black card, take whatever card you got to, I don't care. I'm eating this, okay? Love it so much. So yeah, got that too. Um, so everything that I got came to around like $32. I did have a coupon for $5 off, but I didn't realize it was store specific and I wasn't at the right store, so I didn't get to use that. But I'm sure I'll need more food in the next week or whatever, in the next few days. So I'm gonna go to the other stores just to use that coupon because I can't let that go to waste. And they got a lot of stuff for like Thanksgiving already as far as like the chicken broths, the cream of chicken soup, cream of whatever soups. They got a lot of that stuff there. So if y'all trying to stock up for the holidays, go there. They got turkeys, they got hams, they got everything. Um, I'm not making no damn turkey. Don't eat ham, so yeah. And that's another thing. If you eat chitlins, pig feet, anything like that, don't come for me and my chicken salad because baby, you need to check yourself. Shoot, if you drink Mountain Dew, you drink Red Bull, you drink any of that stuff, you drink Hennessy, don't worry about my chicken salad. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. Okay, I'm all ready for class, but why did I just bump this thing, this barber accident? And look what I did, y'all. Yep, I bumped it. So I bumped the bar and wax went everywhere. Oh, that's going to be fun to clean up later today. Yeah, I'm not responsible enough for a candle warmer. That got to move. That's crazy. That just upset me. But we're going to worry about that later. Off to class we go. And I decided that I'm not wearing a head thingy because I don't want to. So I'm not going to. So, yeah. Let's go to class. Good morning, good morning. Oh, today is Friday. Friday, November 10th. It is Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. I'm on my way to work. Ooh, they need to get off my ass. Because, bitch, I will break check you. <laughs> That's what I do. 
we started at fucking seven o'clock this morning and i really wish we weren't but it is what it is this is the thing about this office it's too inconsistent too like why are we scheduling patients at eight o'clock one day seven o'clock the next day like stop that that's so annoying so i'm finna get here at 701 because i wanted to stay in bed a little bit longer and cuddle with my man and that's what i did so now i am going to be one minute late and i don't even give a fuck no let me not say that i don't even care so <laughs> yesterday was a great day uh what happened oh my goodness oh shit what's happening yesterday was a really good day i had my fluoride varnish eval 100 of course um i also redid my gracie one two eval finally and y'all i passed this time first time you take an eval that's the grade that goes in the grade book if you have to redo it you have to redo it to meet competency it don't matter what your score is though because they only reported one grade in the grade book but so that's 70 percent that i got last month that's what stayed in the grade book and that's one of the reasons why my grade is not what i want it to be but it is what it is you know because after talking to a couple people i realized i'm blessed i'm in a good place right now with my grade it could be worse i could be literally facing eviction from the program <laughs> that's crazy to say but that's literally what it is if you don't meet competency you're going to get pretty much kicked out the program i'm not there but i passed that eval too and i'm just so excited oh when i got that email because i did not feel like i did the best again like i'm just those fucking lingles of those mandibular anterior teeth I just can't wait to the day where I'm like, oh my goodness, this used to be so hard for me. I'm past that. You know, I ain't there yet. It's still pretty challenging for me. So to get that email to say, Kier, your second attempt was successful. I was like, yes. I got so excited, y'all. I was just so happy. Because in my head, I was like, you failed. It's over with. You got to do it again. And if you fail a third time, if you got a second or third time, you have to pass it on that third attempt. And if you don't pass it, you get a D on the instrument. I was like, oh no, I can't do that. Although my 70 would have technically been a D anyway, right? Anyway, Gracie wants to was behind me. Now all we have left are, we got two more evals. Next week we have the 204 SIU, it's the posterior sickle, and then we also have the anterior sickle, the H5. Then right after that, we got our skills test. Because this weekend, I just have to study, study, study because I have to pass the skills test. I have to pass everything. Like, I can't afford to fail a thing. But I'm pretty feeling pretty confident. I got to study for a lot of things. I got to study for the medical marathon, which is next week. And then I also have the skills test right after that. So this weekend, it's just going to be like a buckle down and study, which I don't be knowing how to do. Y'all, I'm passing my first semester of hygiene. I don't know why I'm so surprised because obviously I'm supposed to pass. That's what I was expecting for myself and that's what I'm doing. But um, I was so happy. I was like running around the house or yodeling and singing opera songs. I ain't never been to opera in my life, but I feel good. I feel real good. I feel like I'm... what's going on but all of a sudden one of my old shorts is getting like so many views and it's like i love that that's the thing about youtube y'all that video been up for three months almost three months it's been like 80 something days and i didn't have any subscribers from that video all of a sudden yesterday i got like 500 views and five subscribers from that video from that short that's crazy but thank you so much for subscribing thanks for being here i appreciate all of y'all um that's why I love YouTube. Because you don't even have to be like, yes, you want to be consistent and have content for people to watch. But at the same time, if you got to take a three-month break for dental hygiene school, you can do that. And you still got content that's going to produce, you know, results for you. And I really appreciate that. Um, I've been getting down on myself because it's like, dang, I see everybody else posting their dental hygiene videos while they're in school currently. And it's like, but I know my brain. I can't do too many things at one time. Cause I can't be great at everything and I want to be great at something. I don't want to be half ass and stuff. Like I want to be that girl when it comes to dental hygiene. Like I'm just going to be that girl just cleaning them teeth or whatever. That's the goal that I have. I'm not trying to be a mediocre or half ass hygienist. I want to be 
that girl that everybody want to come see to get their teeth clean like oh Kiara do it the best I want her to do it you know so I'm putting my all into learning the basics and fundamentals so that way I can build on that and grow and grow and grow so I will take a break from YouTube um not saying that the girlies who out here posting weekly are not gonna be that girl because our brains work differently you know and that's fine but for me I just gotta take a break but we about to have a break anyway so i'm gonna have plenty of time to edit and post things like i really was just getting in my own head about it like damn you you suck you can't even post videos but it's like girl it don't matter when the content go up as long as it go up and i'm gonna have some content for y'all real soon but not today right now today i gotta focus on these evals okay and your girls out here killing shit i really had to repeat one instrument and it's so crazy because i don't feel like i did better than the first attempt yesterday but it's just a difference in instructors and who graded me. And oh my goodness, that makes a difference. I'm just trying to be me. First semester is in the motherfucking bag. We did that. We did that. Yep, yep, yep. We did that. <laughs> Have a good Friday. Talk to you later. Bye.